and showers are already arriving. You can see them here, some of them a bit heavier. These areas of darker green, moderate showers that are taking place just to the west of Romulus, moving at around 10 to 15 miles per hour. At that pace, it's going to move from western Wayne County over into central and eastern Wayne County, including the city of Detroit here, within the next few moments. So within the next, say, 20 to 30 minutes, places like Taylor, Dearborn, Livonia, also uh, Redford and Westland can expect some heavier rain to start to move through within that time period. And some thunderstorm activity, which was farther to our south, has dissipated a bit, but not by much. So here's what you can expect in my timeline for you. Storms mainly south, but that doesn't mean we won't see rain across all of uh, across just that part of southeast Michigan, we can expect shower activity north of I-94 as well. Between 9 and 1 o'clock in the morning, we're going to see a break in some of that rain action, which is some good news. But hold on to your hats because more heavy rain, more storm activity is set to arrive here shortly after our 11 o'clock show later on tonight, during the overnight hours, and when you wake up with us tomorrow morning. Some of that rain heavy at times and still cannot rule out some thunder and lightning. The biggest threat, though, comes from that heavy rain over central areas for a long and for an extended period of time. So flooding is the main threat here with some of these showers and storms that move through. Some of them will have gusty winds and small hail, but those threats are on the lower end of the scale. Since flooding is the main priority here, here are the things you can do before the afternoon is over, before going to bed, to make sure you limit flooding in your neighborhood or even your own home. Make sure you clear all of your gutters, downspouts. Make, the, make sure they are still connected and pointed away and extended as far as possible from your home. Make sure you try to secure your basements. Make sure high, items are actually higher on shelves or even on higher floors. And with storm drains around the neighborhood, some of them may have debris following some spring cleaning. Just make sure that they are clear before some of those heavy rains arrive. 79 right now over at the airport. Rain cooled low 70s. You can see here farther off to our west uh, in places like Howell and also right around Holly with 73. We'll expect temperatures to be in the 60s later tonight and then basically rise back into the 70s tomorrow. But here's what you can expect in terms of what's going to occur over the next few hours. Here are those showers that move through through the 8 and 9 o'clock hour. There's that break and then more heavy rain, even some thunderstorms move through overnight and into tomorrow morning. So 64 degrees overnight with showers and storms possible, especially over the next few hours and then overnight. After some morning showers and midday showers tomorrow, highs up to around 74 and drier. A few more showers set for tomorrow afternoon, 74 again for a high. A break on Thursday and a break this coming weekend with highs still in the 70s. Now remember, you can go to the local forecasters app. It's perfect, especially if you're on the go, to track some of these showers yourself, just like we do here at Local 4. Go ahead and scan this UR code, or you can go to your favorite app store, the local forecasters app, search WDIV.